Have you ever stopped to think what it would be like to live in a world where we weren't at the top of the food chain? A world where, with every step, you could become lunch for a colossal creature, with teeth as sharp as daggers and claws capable of tearing through solid rock. Well, my friends of prehistory, the first humans, our most remote ancestors, didn't have it easy. They faced flesh and blood monsters, extinct super predators that dominated the African savannas and ancient forests. This was a daily, brutal, and unforgettable battle for survival. How did these small and seemingly fragile hominins manage? What challenges did they face? At Extinct Dock, we're going to take you on this epic journey, right back to the roots of our species. Join us right now, subscribe to the Extinct Dock channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any details of this incredible story from our past. Let's go! To understand this story, we need to go even further back in time, millions of years ago, to the Pliocene and Lower Pleistocene epochs. Imagine a wild, vibrant Africa, but one brimming with dangers. A period that saw the emergence of our first ancestors, like the Australopithecus, around four million years ago, and then Homo habilis and Homo erectus. They weren't the dominant hunters, they were just another species, a hominin still in development, with a small brain and rudimentary tools, fighting daily not to become a meal for something much larger and more ferocious. Our goal today at Extinct Dock is to uncover the unbelievable challenges they faced. Every ambush in the savanna, every struggle for safe shelter, and the ingenious, albeit primitive, strategies they created, not just to survive, but to pave the way for our very existence. Are you ready for the dive into the true, primal battle? When we talk about super predators of that era, one name stands out for its notoriety, the Dinophelis, also known as the Terrible Feline, or False Saber-Toothed Cat. This predator, which lived between 5 and 1.2 million years ago, was like a large, robust leopard, but with bigger canine teeth, strong enough to crush the skull of its prey. It wasn't the Smilodon of the Americas, but a formidable carnivore that lurked in the forests and on the edges of the savannas of Africa, Europe, and Asia. And what made it so feared by our ancestors? The Dinophelis was an ambush predator, and evidence from several sites in South Africa where fossils of Australopithecus africanus and Paranthropus robustus were found alongside Dinophelis remains suggests a direct association. Even more shocking, hominin skulls have been found with perforations perfectly compatible with the Dinophelis' fangs, indicating that our ancestors were indeed part of its regular diet. The Dinophelis specialized in slower, less agile prey, which unfortunately included our bipedal ancestors who were taking their first steps on the savanna. But the list of terrors didn't stop there. Another saber-toothed cat, the Megenterion, and dagger-toothed cat, also hunted our ancestors. Living from about 4.2 to 2 million years ago, the Megenterion was a robust and solitary predator, which also used ambushes to hunt in wooded savanna environments. Isotope studies on fossils found in the famous Swartzkrans cave in South Africa strongly suggest that Megenterion preyed on hominins, including Paranthropus robustus and the first members of the genus Homo, as well as baboons. Imagine our ancestors, still small and with very rudimentary tools, having to dispute territory or defend themselves from a surprise attack by this giant of claws. Life was a matter of constant vigilance and extreme adaptability as dangers came from all directions. And if we talk about competition for food, we cannot forget the imposing giant hyena, Pachycrocuta brevirostris. This was no ordinary hyena. 
It was the largest hyena that ever existed. Weighing as much as a lioness, about 110 kilograms, 240 pounds, and with a bone-crushing bite, Pachycrocuta dominated much of Afro-Eurasia between two and 500,000 years ago. Although many believe it was primarily an opportunistic scavenger, it was also capable of hunting in packs. And guess who competed with it for carcasses? Our ancestors, especially Homo erectus. Fossils at the Fuente Nueva Tres site in Spain show that archaic humans and giant hyenas shared mammoth remains. Imagine the scene, you as a Homo erectus trying to get a piece of meat from a freshly killed mammoth and a pack of these giant hyenas approaching with the intention of stealing your meal. And shockingly, bite marks attributable to Pachycrocuta have been found on a Homo erectus georgicus skull discovered in Manisi, Georgia. This is proof that the danger was real and direct. Research even indicates that it would have taken a group of 5 to 13 humans to successfully drive off a single giant hyena from a carcass. A true war for food. But the dangers weren't just mammals. Our ancestors also faced threats from other types of predators. In the rivers and lakes of Africa, giant crocodilians lurked, as shown by feeding marks on hominin fossils found in Olduvai Gorge, Tanzania. And in the skies, giant birds of prey were a silent terror. The famous Taung child, a young Australopithecus africanus, whose skull was found in South Africa, exhibits perforation marks that, according to studies, are consistent with an attack by a large bird of prey, likely an eagle. This reminds us that the food chain was complex and brutal, and our ancestors were in the thick of it, vulnerable to predators of all sizes and strategies. Faced with so many dangers, from ambush felines to ravenous hyenas and eagles in the sky, which of these threats do you think represented the greatest daily challenge to the survival of our first ancestors, and why? Think about it and leave your answer in the comments. The crucial question is, how did these first humans, physically so fragile, without sharp claws, enormous fangs, or exceptional speed, manage not only to survive, but to thrive and eventually become the dominant species on the planet? The answer lies in our greatest weapon, the one that differentiates us from all other animals, collective intelligence, creativity, and the ability to innovate. First, the development of primitive tools. Around 2.9 million years ago, hominins began creating the first stone tools, known as Olduan. These were simple, made by striking one stone against another to create a sharp edge used by hominins like Homo habilis, the handyman. These tools allowed them to cut meat from carcasses, break open bones to access nutritious marrow, and process plants. Later, with Homo erectus, came Acheulean tools, around 1.7 million years ago. The famous hand axes, more elaborate and versatile, used for butchering, skinning, and even digging. Second, group living. Our ancestors were small and vulnerable alone, but in bands they could better defend themselves, intimidate predators, and even compete with resources with them. Cooperation was key. Third, the mastery of fire. Although the earliest traces are controversial, Homo erectus is widely credited with controlling fire. The earliest evidence ranges from 1.7 to 2 million years ago. Fire not only provided warmth and allowed them to cook food, a crucial step for releasing more nutrients and boosting brain development, but it was also a powerful barrier against predators, creating a circle of safety in the darkness of the night. The glow and heat of the fire were a terror to most animals, keeping them at bay and allowing our ancestors to feel safer in their shelters. It's important to note that during this period, our ancestors were both hunters of small animals and opportunistic scavengers, taking advantage of large predator kills. 
Flexibility in diet and subsistence strategies was fundamental to their survival in such a hostile environment. This era of constant challenges was humanity's great laboratory. The pressure of living alongside these super predators impelled our intelligence in ways we could never have predicted. It fueled our ability to create increasingly sophisticated tools, to communicate in complex ways, to work as a team for a common goal, and to develop the resilience that defines us today. Without this primal battle, this arduous struggle for survival against the giants and cunning predators of a distant past, perhaps Homo sapiens would never have developed the cognitive and social skills that allowed us not only to survive, but to flourish and eventually become the dominant species on the planet. The story of our survival is the story of small beings who defied giants and with intelligence, unity, and an unshakable will to live prevailed. A powerful lesson about our profound impact on the planet from time immemorial. The saga of the first humans against extinct super predators is a thrilling testament to the resilience and ingenuity of our species. They were the true heroes of a wild and unforgiving world where every day was a trial by fire for both mind and body. If you felt chills from the courage and ability to overcome challenges of our ancestors, if this journey into the past left you marveling at the power of life and intelligence, then leave your like on this video now. Share it with all your friends who love mysteries and prehistory so more people can uncover this fantastic story. And of course, if you're not yet part of our tribe and want to keep unearthing the deepest secrets of our planet, Subscribe to Extinct Doc so you don't miss any of our next discoveries. And now, we want to hear from you in the comments. Which of these extinct beasts do you think was the most difficult for our earliest ancestors to face and why? Your opinion is fundamental for us to continue exploring together. Thank you so much for joining us on this journey into the past. See you in the next Extinct Doc video.